Um, well, first off, Mersai, uh, your friend Maya Packer told me to tell you she said hi. hi. Yeah, she uh, she texted me and was like, oh, yeah, my friend Zoe, she'll be on. <laughs> so, yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Um, so my question is for either of you guys. Um, so the show, as we all know, discusses very real things that most Black people can probably relate to. Um, I'm curious if you guys as actors ever feel the pressure of having to take on and address such heavy topics. Um, I, I think I do sometimes. Um, not necessarily pressure, but just trying to make sure, because I'm an overthinker. I don't know about y'all, but I overthink a lot of stuff. So um, for me, I always want to make sure um, my my words are spoken in the right way to where everyone uh, understands them and it's uh, resonated with everyone that is listening. Um, I feel like with the topics that Blackish pulls together, we always want to make sure we bring our authentic self onto the screen while um, telling a story which is uh, that is very impactful for everyone. So yeah, I would I would I wouldn't say pressure, but I would definitely say I'm a perfectionist and where I make sure. Um, I'm saying the right things and it comes out in the way that I want it to. Yeah, for me, I mean, I feel like we're, there was, I, I felt definitely pressure in the very beginning. Um, like, not the very, very beginning, I mean, like season one, season two, when we would talk about certain topics. Um, but later in the seasons, I feel like we did it on such a day-to-day -day basis when we talked about certain things. Um, I'm not gonna say the pressure went away, but it's like as if oh, you almost expected us to speak up about certain things that normally others, you know, others wouldn't. So um, for the whole cast, we kind of had an understanding that at first it may seem a little out of our comfort zone to kind of speak up about certain topics that aren't people aren't used to talking about. But um, later in the season, I think we definitely found a comfort in it. And I think I don't think I don't think I feel pressure as much doing it um, in the later seasons as much. How you doing? This, this question will go up to both of you as well. Um, Blackish, while as a comedy, also uses this platform, you know, as an opportunity to talk about different issues like in the country, specifically the Black community. And with that, along with, you know, social media and our parents, we have a lot of outlets for information. So while you guys are young, I know you know what's going on in our community, what's taking place, you know, with police brutality, systemic racism, etc. <clears throat> as difficult as it is, you know, to uh, to accept that this is our reality. How do you look at the tragedies that are taking place and the change that we've made in such a short period of time? Um, pretty insane if you think about it. Um, I was saying that um, this time being in quarantine and all that has really forced us to really look and face um, all of the things that have been happening for these past years that we have been trying to get everyone to understand, but a lot of people are just now realizing it in the time span of six months that we've been in this quarantine. Um, so I would I would say, um, yeah, like, like I was saying, um, just to go on your question, I feel like using your platform is the biggest thing for, for me. And um, I feel like physically and mentally, uh, my mind is in a totally different place now. Um, I feel like if you asked me that same question like two years ago, I'd be like, well, um, I'm I'm just focused on blackish right now, you know, because um, it's a difficult question. It's a lot. It's like there's so much stuff going on. It's it's um, it's a lot to touch on each thing. And it's so sensitive and it's um, it's really tough to talk about. So for us as a community, I want to make sure that we use our voices in the highest way possible, especially during these times, um, um, especially for like young young kids like us, because um, you see it and then you get scared and you're like, what if this happens to me? And we, we never want that to happen. So I feel like um, it's kind of, it's kind of surreal because for the past couple of years, it's been like, it happens and the next thing you know, no one is like, we go into normal life. But it's 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 been insane. So I, I think it's it's been surreal that um, I know a lot of people that have their minds changed about it. That they are um, now fighting with us as well, and then um, protesting and supporting and um, just being there and having hope, you know. And that's all we can really have, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
and it's really tough to have it at, uh, during these times, but we, we always make sure that um, us as a generation, we are doing our part and um, that there is no one left behind in um, any situation like this. Yeah. Um, for me, I think it just starts with um, accountability and responsibility, to be honest, with, with what we can improve um, and ourselves before we out go out and, and find out what others can improve. And I mean, social media is the easiest platform to look at history and history is always a learning lesson. I mean, I mean, from, from hundreds of years back, history is always gonna be a learning lesson. That's really the point. And I think as long as we all know to not have history repeat itself um, and just learn what we can, you know, from mistakes that we've had and learn what we can do from it when it comes to systemic racism or, or mental health or, or family or police training, what, whatever it is, um, as long as we know not to have history repeat itself, because that's really the, that's one of the biggest positives that we can take out of social media and the internet is we can easily Google up what, what happened hundreds of years ago or whatever happened two years ago or whatnot. Um, so I think as long as we understand what we can do to make things better and how to not have the cycle we start over again, if that makes sense. So about facing, I, yeah, it's, a, it's about facing um, what has been in front of us for a bunch of years. So. Yeah.